Hello YouTube, I'm here today to talk to you about my Vetter holster for my Springfield Armory EMP. It comes in this nice little bag. It has a sticker, the holster, and then uh, there was some paperwork that came with it, but that got lost. Um, I've had this holster for a couple months now, um, and I've been using it to carry my Springfield Armory EMP. I have it in a cocked and locked state right now, but there's nothing in it, which I will show on camera. There's nothing, you can put your finger in there, nothing in the magazine. Well, so, um, that's what I've been using it to carry. There's not many holsters out there for the Springfield Armory EMP, so it was nice that Vetter Holsters has a model uh, which will fit my specific gun. Um, mainly you'll find leather holsters, and I'm not really a big leather person, so I was on the look for the lookout for one of these for a while until I came upon them. Um, the color I got it in was the multicam or whatever that's called, like super cam, I think, on the website. Um, it's a really nice finish. As you can see, the color's pretty sweet. And the uh, the surface of the Kydex itself, it's slightly textured, but it's actually really smooth. Um, it just looks really nice, and it's finished very well. On the inside, it's a tan. Um, and I'm not sure if the color's, like, painted on or what, but it's a light tan on the inside. It has their logo actually sort of pressed in if you... It's probably not going to be able to pick it up, but it says better on the inside. Um, and it's well finished. It has really smooth edges and everything was taken care of. The cool thing about this holster is the adjustability of the holster itself. Instead of some holster manufacturers where you have to specify a zero degree cant, 15 plus or 15 minus, um, it's fully adjustable to the end user. So there's two screws right here. So you loosen them both and then this clip rotates 30 degrees both ways, I believe. Could be wrong on that. And there's a series of holes. So there's these two, two down here, and then another one up here too. So you can adjust the ride height. I have it set so it rides the highest on my body. When I had it adjusted for the other holes, so it would put the holster farther down, I couldn't get a full purchase on the gun when I when I pulled it from the holster in my pants. So I went back to this, and uh, that's how I like to run it. I do have it set so it cants the gun. As you can see, so the gun rides like this on my body. The reason why I did this is because when I tried doing it as a straight, straight like this, or no cant or whatever you want to call it, this, the rear end of the pistol itself printed really badly. And then when I adjusted it for the camp, you can't tell the gun's on me. So this is how I have it set up for right now. And I think I'm going to keep it this way for a good while. It carries the, the gun itself very well. There's uh, an adjustable retention screw down here with a bushing so you can adjust how tight it is. I, li I, I like to run mine pretty loose just because my body, when it's when it's in my pants, it'll actually hold it in pretty securely. Um, so yeah, it's pretty sweet. And you can carry it either decocked like this with the safety off and the holster's fine, or you can carry it in a cocked and locked state and the holster is not uh, very picky by any means. It has a bump out right here, so you can carry it either way and it doesn't really make a difference. The sights are nicely protected up front and uh, it's very smooth from from drawing and also re-holstering it. It's smooth setup. There's nothing binding or catching. There is one small gripe I have about this holster but it's easily remedied um, and it's just with the clip itself. Not that the clip's adjustability is not good but I have also noticed how the clip rides very straight like this. I kind of want it to camp forward a little bit just so it pushes the holster farther back up here into my stomach. Um, so that's easy to easy to do, just take it to a press break and bend it a little bit. Um, so that's something I'm going to modify, but otherwise this holster suits my needs very well. And I would highly recommend it for a Springfield Armory EMP if you can't find one that you like. <clears throat> Check out Vetter, they have a bunch of colors um, and their turnaround time was very fast. I got this as a birthday gift and it came in like two or three days or something. So that's pretty sweet. It's made in America. So that's always a bonus. Um, try to buy American. And that's my review of the Vetter holsters.